Shout out to our new viewers. Thanks for tuning in. Please don't forget to like and, of course, subscribe. So one of the things I have noticed being in Portugal for about a month now is we have these really nice metal shades on the exterior of our apartment. They're manually operated with a thick strap inside, from inside next to the window. And we can raise them and lower them. And it's really nice because it makes it very quiet and very dark in the bedroom. But yet you can adjust them to let light or air in. Right, and then some other windows, they're double paned and in the middle, there's a blind that raises and lowers and that's really to control more of the darkness and light that penetrates into the living space. And they're, they're very, uh, very nice to have as well in lieu of having to hang curtains. This is an example of the metal shutters you see all over Portugal. It's controlled by this little belt here. And what you do is you just roll it off in the wall and you can lower it now this this has three positions so we're at the ground floor level here so if we were to open the window we would probably leave it in this position and then open it just so nobody's tempted to come visit the house when we're not here open that window all the way again jim and air circulates through the holes and that are yeah we've got all these slots that allow the air to circulate through. Now, if we lower it further until it hits the bottom stop, if you watch, those slats start to close up. So now what you have is you have a solid shutter against wind, noise, rain, what have you. And so there's really three positions on these window, these uh, shutters. They're and either. they're really effective because you can hear how quiet between closing the shutter and closing the window that it got. So there's full darkness mode. You've got an air circulation mo mode or just low, low level lighting. And then when you raise it all the way up, you got either a full view or a full sunlight. We raise it during the day to take advantage of the solar heating of the, the apartment since there's no other source of heat in this two-bedroom apartment. And that's it. We'll talk a little bit about the other style we've seen that are operated electrically and they're more just sunshades, not security slashed weather whatever you want to call these metal ones yeah for our Portu portugal viewers in the u.s it's not popular to have metal shades at all so yeah. some sometimes if you're way down south or in an area that might get um, a wind storm or a tropical storm florida alabama what you might see is hurricane shutters or storm shutters that would be installed at the time that there's going to be the actual storm and they usually get screwed into cleats they don't necessarily roll down unless it's a much pricier home yes and so we have them in here as well there's no drapes in this room these are in the relaxed position where you could see the holes are letting in light we did have the window open during the day and we just got home it's dinner time so we closed it and that'll be it for the fresh air today's kind of a cloudy and damp day so most of the window shades are not open on our apartment building some people have opened them up to let in a little light looks like only one person has a window open to let in some fresh air but you could see how smart these look from the outside as well so we talked about the metal shutters like we have at the apartment we're staying in right now, but another nice shuttering system for dimming the lights is 
this little automated shutter. So this comes down between the two panes of glass, two windows of glass, and it helps you to control the light that way. And it's operated easily by a switch. There's a goes up switch and a goes down switch right in the wall. Easier to do than the belt ones that we showed you, but I'm not sure what happens when the motor that's somewhere hidden up there dies. So that's what I know about these windows.